can't stand laughing. Public take Harry's name in vain as he immersed himself in prodigal lifestyle. When Prince Harry left behind his palace upbringing to join the military, his eyes were opened in more ways than one, claims a royal author. For starters, the 20-year-old prince was given some common everyday items he had never used before. According to Robert Lacey's biography Battle of Brothers, the prince enjoyed living life just like everyone else. The royal author wrote. That summer of 2005 saw the perpetual spare setting off to the Royal Military Academy to start his officer training. On arrival, along with every other cadet, Harry had his head completely shaved and was assigned a room not much larger or different in character than a prison cell. He was given his own iron and ironing board, which he had never used before. And he later admitted that Sandhurst was the first time in his life that he wielded a lavatory brush. After three years of training, he qualified as an Apache helicopter commander in 2013, and served as a co-pilot gunner during a five-month tour of the Middle East. Prince Harry spoke about his time, he said, I wasn't a prince. I was just Harry. Harry had a decade-long distinguished military career, rising to the rank of captain. Harry, Duke of Sussex, had the service number 564,673 and was not just there to make up the numbers but performed two tours of Afghanistan, picking up a number of gongs along the way. After completing his Sandhurst training Harry joined the Blues and Royals in April 2006. There was a big debate when it was announced in 2006 Harry's unit would be deployed to Iraq the following year whether or not he should be sent to the front line. It was eventually announced Harry would not be sent due to the security risk, with Harry publicly airing his disappointment but adding he would abide by the decision. Although this was his second tour, he had to spend most of his time at the British run base, which left him incredibly frustrated. According to Angela Levin's book, Harry, Conversations with the Prince. He told the press, I hate it, being stuck here. I'd much rather be out with the lads in a patrol base. The last job was, for me personally, better. The Duke of Sussex's first tour in 2008 saw him take on the role of forward air controller. But, this was cut short after 10 weeks because a media blackout was compromised and he was removed from Afghanistan over fears he was a target. In May 2015, as his military career was drawing to a close, he also explained why he had chosen to leave the army and pick up more duties in his royal life instead. Harry said. If we move on, more responsibilities come and I suppose with wanting to take on slightly more of this, royal, role I don't really feel as though I would be in the right position to take on the careers of more soldiers and to take on the responsibility of continuing to fly. February 2008 The mod confirmed Harry had been secretly deployed to Helmand province in Afghanistan. During his time there it is believed he helped Gurkha troops repel an attack from Taliban insurgents and undertook patrols. In October 2008 it was announced he wanted to fly military helicopters and eventually qualified in May 2010. And in April 2011 Harry was promoted to the rank of captain. In September 2012 Harry was sent to Camp Bastion in southern Afghanistan with the Army Air Corps on a 20-week tour. At the end of his military career he was seconded to the Australian Defence Force and in June 2015 Harry's military career came to an end. The titles he earned during his 10 years in the army are not affected by his decision to step back as a senior royal. However, Harry's positions as Captain General of the Royal Marines, Honorary Air Commandant of RAF Honington and Commodore-in-Chief. Small ships and diving were taken away when he left the royal family, pending the review. According to The Sun, Prince Harry's positions as Captain General of the Royal Marines, Honorary Air Commandant of RAF Honington and Commodore-in-Chief, small ships and diving were taken away from him when he left the royal family, pending the review.
sides of Afghanistan, picking up a number of gongs along the way. After completing his Sandhurst training Harry joined the Blues and Royals in April 2006. There was a big debate when it was announced in 2006 Harry's unit would be deployed to Iraq the following year whether or not he should be sent to the front line. It was eventually announced Harry would not be sent due to the security risk, with Harry publicly airing his disappointment but adding he would abide by the decision. Although this was his second tour, he had to spend most of his time at the British-run base, which left him incredibly frustrated. According to Angela Levin's book, Harry, Conversations with the Prince. He told the press, I hate it, being stuck here. I'd much rather be out with the lads in a patrol base. The last job was, for me personally, better. The Duke of Sussex's first tour in 2008 saw him take on the role of forward air controller. But, this was cut short after 10 weeks because a media blackout was compromised and he was removed from Afghanistan over fears he was a target. In May 2015, as his military career was drawing to a close, he also explained why he had chosen to leave the army and pick up more duties in his royal life instead. Harry said. If we 